Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at the upcoming fishing tourney, going over some tips and tricks you'll need to know, and wrap up by going over all the tourney prizes available. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So tomorrow the 11th of April 2020 marks the first ever Animal Crossing New Horizons fishing tourney and likely the first time many of us will meet CJ, the brand new tourney host. CJ is of course new to New Horizons and replaces his father Chip in the franchise. CJ's version of the fishing tourney is much different to previous iterations and instead of a longer more relaxed fishing tourney where you have all day to submit the largest fish to win a prize, it's now a fast paced time trial challenge. In short, CJ gives us three minutes to catch as many fish as possible before returning to him to find out how well we did. The good news is CJ will be around from 9am to 6pm and we can enter the tourney as many times as we like throughout the day. The first time we enter is free, however it does cost 500 bells every time after that. So the aim of the tourney is to catch as many fish as possible and yield the highest score you can. Each fish is worth one point, but we can get two bonus points for every fish caught after three. So one fish earns one point, two fish earns two points, but then three fish earns five points, four fish earns six points and so on. So the more fish we catch, the better our score will be. The points earned during the tourney can then be exchanged for limited time fishing themed items which we'll get into after the spoiler break towards the end of the video. It's worth mentioning that only fish caught during the time trial count towards prizes so unfortunately for those who have been saving up fish or have spare fish lying around they won't count and can't be submitted. Anyway, after speaking with CJ, the tourney only begins once we pull out our fishing rods. So this gives us a chance to head towards some water first before the tourney begins. However, there are a few more tips and tricks that may help you out. Number one, fishing rods. It's recommended to craft a bunch of fishing rods before the tourney. As I'm sure you know by now, just like most of the other tools, fishing rods break after so many uses and you don't want to find yourself without one mid tourney should it break. Each tourney only lasts three minutes, so carrying two rods with you should be plenty. Number two, tool ring. For those carrying multiple rods, it may be worth registering each rod to your tool ring, so you can quickly switch rod should you need to. The last thing you need is to have to open your pockets, find a new rod and then assign it. It may only save you a few seconds, but it could be the difference between earning double figures. Number three, fishing bait. Fishing bait will be the most important part of this tourney. Unfortunately, we can never really guarantee there will be a fish available to catch, especially with Bunny Day running alongside the tourney. It would be so frustrating to be down to the last few seconds only to catch an egg. So before the event, either today or before you enter the tourney tomorrow, catch as many manila clams from the beach as you can and craft a whole bunch of fishing bait. It's recommended to carry a stack of 10 or more just in case. That way you can head over to water use the bait and catch an actual fish straight away, wasting no time. Number four, terraforming. It's not really a trick, but if you really wanted to, you could terraform a bunch of ponds or rivers around the resident services area to avoid running around so much. This could save you a bit of time if you plan on doing a bunch of tourneys in a limited time frame, but for most players, it's probably not worth it. And that's pretty much it in terms of tips and tricks. You don't have to worry about pocket space as all the fish caught are magically teleported to CJ's cooler, which is super handy. Now the tourney is available all day and will reward us with a trophy based on the collective points earned and we'll send the corresponding trophy out in the mail the next day. If we earn 100 points, we will receive the bronze trophy. 200 points will get us the silver trophy and 300 or more will earn us the gold trophy. Now it doesn't sound that difficult, but if you want to earn the gold trophy, we need to earn 300 points. And if for example, we catch eight fish per round that earns us 10 points, we need to take part in 30 tourneys, which totals 240 fish. Assuming my maths is correct and there are no other bonuses along the way. Of course, the more fish we catch each round will lower the amount of tourneys we'll need to enter. Given each tourney after the first cost 500 bells to enter, this also means it could cost around 15,000 bells over the course of a couple of hours to earn enough points for the gold trophy. 
This will of course give us a lot of chances to unlock the prizes, however I don't think it's too important as there are several fishing tourneys per year with the next one happening in July, so just try and enjoy this one and see how it goes. Now with every 10 points earned, which is probably what we'll earn on average per tourney, we can exchange them for one fishing tourney themed item. So far there seems to be 13 fishing tourney items available, so we're now going to be taking a look at pretty much all the fishing swag available. So please consider this your spoiler warning. If you don't want to see which prizes can be earned from exchanging fishing tourney points, and you'd rather wait to find out yourself, you should leave this video now, but please leave a like before you do. So the items up for grabs include the cooler, which is pretty much a mini version of CJ's cooler and acts just like a wardrobe strangely, a door plate which is already a favourite of mine, a fish drying rack, a fish print tee which is definitely a step up from the classic black and yellow fish tee I normally wear, a marine pop wallpaper which is really cute, a fish pochette style bag, a fish wall print which is nice, a fishing rod stand, this stand doesn't really serve a purpose other than looking cool, unfortunately we can't store rods there or anything. A fish rug, a fishing tackle bag, which is really awesome, a fish umbrella and of course the wonderfully adorable fish wand, that acts just like any other wands. Another item that is said to be a reward is the anchor statue, although for some reason it feels quite out of place in this set for me for some reason, but we'll include it just in case. So yeah, lots of items to work towards, but given each tourney is only 3 minutes, there's plenty of time to enjoy the day as usual, while still winning a few fishing themed items. As I mentioned, this is the first of many fishing tourneys to come, and they will likely always have the same items available to win, given it's an actual in-game event rather than a holiday. So just have fun, enjoy the event, and see if you can beat your own score each time. But yeah, what do you think about this tourney and its prizes? Are you liking the sound of the new style of event or would you prefer the old way? Let us know in the comments. Anyway, for now that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment fish just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include which of these fishing tourney items is your favorite i'd love to know anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace